Welcome back once again. Um, in today's video, I want to show us how to cut a kids or a baby top. That's children. Now, this formula I'm going to show us will work for both boy and girl. As far as you are making a top or Ankara, business top or Ankara top for him or her, it's the same process. Now, why is it the same process? Because our baby girl doesn't have boss for now no under boss for now and no shape for now so that in their line with the male outfit so if you use this formula it will also work perfectly for the girl and for the boy as well so in a nutshell at the end of the video you should be able to make an outfit for your baby girl or for your baby boy this is the only way i know you can go by doing this now the normal processes you also know is you have to measure him or her properly now when measuring when measuring her you also envisage that this is a normal way to measure now measure the the bust though no bust there it's just the chest measure the chest measure the shoulder the other areas of measurements properly how fitted you want it to be is your choice now when you have measured you bring your design fabric you fold now remember that your folding should be in line with your chest by four plus two inches or one and a half since we are working for a um, little little boy uh, a kid now when you fold you get you get your measurement properly now in the additional areas the hand side you're going to add three inches for grown-ups remember we use four so this time around we are using three because it's for kids you know, it's for a kid now the three inches I've added is what you use. Now the three inches will serve you for the folding and sewing allowance. Now after the three inches, you apply your top length. Now the top length I'm having there is um, 27 top length, 22 sorry, 22 top length, 22 top length. Now the top length is 22. You measure 22 from the three inches you have marked 22. You mark your top length of 22. Now after the marking of 22 top length. You extend the line properly. You extend the line properly. Now, when you extend the line properly, now the next thing we are now going to derive is our armhole, which is one of the most important areas of our top. Now, remember that your my chest I used I'm using to work is 27 chests. Now, 27 by 4 is giving us 6.75. Now, I run it up to 7 because it's very close to 7. So, I'm going to use 7 as the chest measurement now in this case i'm going to use seven for the armhole seven inches is what i'm going to use that's for short sleeve if i was making a long sleeve i would minus one from this and i'm going to use six because it's for the short sleeve i'm going to use seven for the armhole now the seven inch mark you extend it properly after the extension you now apply your chest measurement that the seven you apply now you're going to use additional of 1.5 that for kids 1.5 no longer two inches now the shoulder of my little boy is 13 13 by 2 is going to give me 6.75 6 is 12 start 6.5 is 13 then 75 Sorry, 6.5 is 13, right? Yeah, 13. So I'm going to add 0 0.3 to it. That's 6.8 now for the join of the sleeves. After that, you connect the shoulder allowance to the real chest. Now, when you connect it, now you are going to slant this by 1.5. You are going to slant by 1.5. Slanting of kids is 1.5. You are going to slant by 1.5. When it's number 1.5, you extend it to the neck point, to the neck area. Now, the same process we undergo for our neck derivation. Our neck for my kid is 6, is 12. Now, 12 over 6 is 2. Now, you wouldn't have marked at exact 2 because if you mark at exact 2, by the time you put your face in, it will surpass 2. That means you are going to reduce 0 0.3 from these two for the width was marking. So I'm going to mark at 1.7 for the width. Now the balance will augment when I put my face in. It will not tally to 2 inches. Now um, I reduced 0.3 from the 2 with the answer I got. I marked at 
Now that 1.7, you are going to add 0 0.5 to it for the depth measurement. That 1.7 plus 0 0.5 is going to give us 2.2. 2.2 now this 1.5 1.7 and 2.2 is for the width and the depth now bear in mind that this neck formula works for everybody now 1.7 and 2.2 is what i'm using now you're going to use your armhole curve you place it this way as well you make your curve for your neckline now after this you now go to your armhole trimming now your armhole trimming will come from the balance of your slanting to your chest line is 5.7. Now 2.5 is 5. 7 is 3.5. Um, 3 that is making it 2.8 or there about 3.8. Yeah, 2.8. Now from that point, come in by 1 inch for the kid. Come in by 1 inch for the armhole trimming. 1 inch. Remember in adults, we use 1.5. 1 inch is what you're going to use for the kid. Take your French curve. Place it in a way, if, if you don't have a curve, use your hand to give a smooth curve. Place it in a way that you will get a curve that will join the one inch to your shoulder point and um, to your balance of the armhole or your chest line. Now, this is how you are going to make or uh, mark your outfit in a way that you will get a perfect armhole trimming, neckline, and your perfect kids cutting. So with this point, now the next stage you are, you are going to undergo is your slit opening. Now your slit opening for your um, center top for the kid. Now you remember in the in the adult zone we use thirteen, but this time around it's not going to be up to thirteen. So if anything you are going to use, we be we be in respect to the top length. Now for this particular top length, I'm going to use ten. Now why did I choose to use ten? Because when, by the time you fold your allowance, you are going to have opening of at least four to five inches left. So if you close from the chest line armhole to your point ten, you're going to have four point five remaining. So this four point five should be able to be the least um, opening you should have on the sides of the seam for your cylinder top for your kids. Now you join here as well. You draw a thread line to join here. Now the essence of this little um, L I cut here is to enable you to indicate where your opening should start and where you should end. So this is for the front part. I'm also going to show us the back parts of these clips. Okay, right now I'm done cutting the front block or the front bodies of our baby's top. Now it's time for us to cut the back. Now the same process we go. Now you fold as well. You fold as well. Your folding should be in line with the front block. You should not fold excessively as well. So after the folding, you place your front block on top of it. Now when you place on top of it, remember that the slanting you used on the front is going to affect the raising at the back. Remember we slanted by one and a half for the front. That means you are going to raise by two inches and one and a half. So this is the easiest way you can do this. Now, you're going to raise by two inches here and then one and a half at this point because we slanted with one and a half. So you join this one as well. It goes off this way. Now you raise, you, you draw the line of the neckline to come here. After that, now the back depth, the back neck depth of a kid is one inch or 1.1 so i'm using 1.1 now one inch or 1.1 is what you're going to use for the neck depth for the back and after that you're going to cut the exact of your marking now you cut now when cutting you will also pass the whole stages of processes of our kids as well. So this process, like I told us, works for both a, a male child, um, a boy child and a girl child. Now, you cut. Now, you also do your neck balancing. You fold the neck 
in the way that it comes in front now when it comes in front you're not going to you're going to cut this with the in line with the front neck you must make sure you balance your neck properly now it should be synchronized the front and the back both of them should be lined now you now cross shake on the shoulder line if there's any protrusion you cut it off you trim it off now when you trim it off you are now having a balanced neck and then a balanced front so i'm also going to show us how to cut the sleeves of this our baby okay now welcome back once again now at this point i want to show us how to cut the sleeve of our kids top now this formula works for both the male and the female as well so now the folding use the remnants of a material from the front and the back block so the way i'm going to fold you have to fold here this way one i'm cutting the two sleeves together you fold one now you also fold again now it happened that this is just exactly what i need but if your material is in excess, fold in this pattern as well. So after the folding, you now add your you now add your um, allowance for your folding at the damp part. So I'm using two inches for him. Two inches because he's a kid. I'm using two inches. You can use um, 2.5 if you want. But two inches is what I'm using. You extend the line. Now when you turn the line, you apply your sleeve length. Now the sleeve length I'm having is um, 6.5 plus half, half inch joining, that's 7. So we mark at 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Now you extend the line outrightly. Now the round sleeve I'm having is um, 8 by 2 is 4. You mark at 0.4. Add 2 inches to it. Now your inner arm for the kid bring it down by three or two and a half i'm using three now when you bring it down by three join this point to that three inches now bring it down here now this three i'm bringing it down is because of the sleeve length is seven oh if you have a sleeve of five make here two and a half or two so uh, after that you now mark your, make your normal curve for your armhole so this is the perfect armhole your, your perfect sleeve um, marking now you cut now when you cut the shape alone will be so fine that you will want to start sewing the cloth immediately so this is the shape of your sleeve now you are going to fold this to get your marking to get your um, total finish now this for the sleeve of the kit. Now that's for the top. Thank you for watching.